back when my brother was Knopf Blaze. From Knopf Blaze to Sanji Thrills. So if you guys want to know, my brother actually was very, 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 very fun to hang out with. Stop thinking that my brother is very treacherous. Okay, so I'm going to put it like this, so. My brother literally inspired me to do a whole lot. I've always excited for my brother, you know. What happened is things come over time when you're older and, you know, the same thing can't work when you're younger. Well, I'm talking about when talking to people. Like, you can't calm people down the same way when you're older. Like, literally tell them some admiral shit that they know isn't going to work. But you can always try, and, you know. Since he was trying to have fun with me and since this and that, I'm going to give you a little video of how hanging out my brother really is. Now, my brother is hella fucking funny when it comes to fucking his opinion in anime. Because I always... Crash my brother like he's a piece of shit on my channel, but he's really a really a sweet person. But at the end of the day, I had to literally I had to toughen up to a uh, most extreme to a point where I got at a level where I'm like, dude, I have so many things that I know that you don't. And literally, what happened is this. So before this all happened, this is literally the same knowledge I have today. He had back then, but I expanded other knowledge due to being a victim of circumstances. So that's the. Um, story between me and my brother. So, my brother, I stay on my channel, Lily, was Lily the funniest, you know, dick out there. He was being a dick, but he was being a funny dick, and he was being hella funny every single fucking time. Like, he did something, like, Lily, he always made it fucking stupid as fuck. Lily, I literally was hella fucking, you know, bad as fuck. He always had the most unique fucking shit. So, as we know on my channel, he literally is known for having the fucking funniest shit. Not only the best character in the show. <laughs> that's literally that shit I talks about. Literally, I'm looking at the fucking great saying I'm like, why the fuck you choose him and not normal Gohan? He's like, you don't know how through this shit is. This nigga was a superhero going to high school. Literally, that shit was hella fucking funny. There's so much fucking shit. His favorite character is Soul Eater is Black Star. But his second favorite character is Dr. Stein. That's his personality. It's fucking crazy. I always hop my brother up to be fucking stupid on my channel, but he actually was the rarest person at one point, but he won't be too raw for too long, you know what I'm saying, like, my brother is known for literally having these unique ass fucking characters, motherfucking, and my hero, he always plays his Ida and shit, it's, I love people hate my fucking brother on the channel because of literally how fucking, <laughs> motherfucking foolish with this guy is, this nigga was so fucking funny, you know, my brother has a lot of fucking memories we have, I've watched anime with him for four years fucking straight, and it wasn't a bad experience at all, the only problem was, you know, my real life was way fucking off screen, but he's very analytical. When he watches a show, like at least back in the day, he's not the same person. But let me go into who is Not Blaze. Not Blaze is my older brother who literally is five years older than me. He was back in the generation when they used to play Dim Hood Stars Video Viction. It's really hard to say that he wasn't this shit literally coming from the older generation where Eminem and D12 literally were killing shit. He was in junior high and high school with fucking Blink 182. Fucking Eminem were making music. So he tries to school me like, bro, I was there back in the day where it was in his prime back with Lily. The radio rap you know today was forbidden, Lily. That's literally how he fucking talks. Nigga, he's like, he's so fucking factual every fucking time he speaks, but that is Lily. That's the double side of him. And I'm gonna let you know that later on in the video. So basically, this was funny. So back in the day, he was Knopf Blaze. And he would always blaze it up, and his Knopf meant notice of failure. So that was literally everything. Knopf plays this, Knopf plays that. That's when I was in junior high. And he changed it immediately. Immediately. He thinks literally anime is the fucking greatest shit of all time. He tells me that he's always my biggest fan, and that he always supports me in every way, shape, form. I'm telling you, right, this and now. He thinks he is, but there are so many more fucking contenders. There are so many more people who love me on YouTube, but it's not even fucking funny. Like, literally, he be missing days, and he be missing video on top of videos. I'm still oblivious if he even see the full fucking season one playlist yet. Like, every now and then, he'll fuck around like some shit like the most greasy shit I've been posting because it's been funny. But, literally, but, literally, it's, he wasn't there at the time. It's like, who the fuck is Jaylene? Who the fuck is Elliot? Like, stupid shit like that. Like, that shit was crazy. So, that's how I talk. So, Doc plays was the guy in junior high who everybody fucking feared. Fucking Justin feared my brother. Everybody feared my brother. Courtney feared my brother. And he comes from the older generation. But let me tell you, my brother comes from, like, a spot where, literally, he was not even in training. He was in setting. And there are two different forms of that. What the fuck happened was this. So, basically, like, he thought he was in training, but he was really, you know, setting stuff up for a trap 
later on down the ride, what happened was he used to literally hang around a gang around school, and he wouldn't bang himself, but he would literally learn the culture. He said, fuck the world at a young age. He has a Nas mindset at a young age. He's basically saying, this world is fucking stupid. I don't care if I motherfucking little brother dies and shit like that. You know why? Because fucking he's been through too much. My mom and dad divorced, tore him apart. And he thinks that's real shit. When you get older, you're like, man, that ain't shit. He thinks on it on like an educated level, on the street level, but he's not like, he doesn't jump to conclusions when he does that. He's very like analytical on how he goes in, so he makes sure there's no holes, but then he leaves the biggest hole. And that's literally how a gang taught him to operate. And literally, he was hella fucking lovely with that gang. Everybody still respects him in that gang, but he was the problem. He was there when that gang originated, and my brother literally... It came down to a point where he was slanging in school, literally, he used to give me this speech, he was like, nigga, I used to literally steal candy and literally sell him, and that's what you call hustling, literally, he used to always do that, he was watching Adam, like, how can this guy be so fucking solid, he used to always fucking tell me, bruh, I ain't like that, bruh, like, literally, niggas be trying to check my brother, like, I don't got it like that, man, but when I need it, I can hit some niggas up, and literally, that's, like, literally, what's the crazy, the thing is, is I became him, older but I didn't need backup when I became him so basically junior high came along and not plays and he was playing this game called urban rivals it was a card game called urban rivals when you literally instead of like it's kind of like a, a urban version of Lily you know um who's your best share on your team like what's gonna be the best draw not like Yu-Gi-Oh what happened was this like he had cards and it's in every different card Lily had kind of like a special different attribute but instead of an attribute it was a kind of like fucking a storyline so fucking like urban rivals came along and that storyline hit hella fucking hard because literally there's nothing to it it's just that different things have literally different names and different shit that gives them an advantage but it's not literally like Yu-Gi-Oh! how they die they don't fucking die what they do is like they formulate the fucking game like do you have this in your hand oh you're fucked yeah, like, basically, every single fucking turn in Urban Rivals is kind of like a Joker, but the Jokers, like, Lily have history. Oh, I remember this guy, Lily. This nigga was at 2K at one point. You can level up your fucking monsters, but, like, at the same time, there's still, like, Mario levels, like, 2,000 and shit. So that's how hard he is in video games. He's an OG where it comes, a League of Legends. He knows a lot of shit back in the day. He was a big fan of the PS1. So my brother, Lily tried to tell me how he'd be cool. He would always imitate Dave Chappelle. He would always make Dave Chappelle jokes. And Lily, but Lily. Uh, where I disagree with him is this. So, there was this one Reigns brother episode, Lily, where this nigga is Lily. He's bathing in a bathtub of Fruit Loops. And the milk's already to the top. And Lily, this nigga said, like, what the fuck you doing? He's like, what, Lily? I'm very, like, um, scarred by the fact that, you know there's a naked nigga in a tub full of milk. Lily, your Fruit Loops aren't fucking helping, boy. Lily, that's Lily. What the fuck? <laughs> I literally, how I view shit today, he's like, nigga, that shit was hella funny. But I wasn't able to cap back then like how I am able to explain the story now. And that is literally hella fucking funny. He's literally though, for choosing the most miscellaneous fucking shit, especially fucking video games. And he used to use Janemba. Motherfucker, my brother was literally like Super Saiyan Gohan versus Deborah every fucking time he was on the scene. That was the most badass shit ever. Literally, he literally, and, but you know what? This is the craziest fucking shit. The reason why I used to love my brother is because I used to look up to him. Like, how the fuck can he do this and that? Like, it looks like he's truly fucking finding his life like a grown-ass man. The way he would handle the situation, how do you deal with his heads and stuff like that. Like, but I learned that that was all literally coming from, you know, him and his perspective being trapped, thinking that, you know, gangsters, you know, you know, or sometimes, you know, one minute so that hoodlums are fucking stupid and stuff like that. I'm going to put it like this. Every hoodlum I fucking met fucked with me heavy because of the simple fact that, like, they can tell people will fuck with me and they used to always help me out. Like, nigga, don't let that nigga punk you. Every fucking time I would hang out with people, like, literally, they would always try to give me this talk, like, I don't want you getting punked. And literally, that is the exact opposite of, you know, what my brother thinks. My brother thinks that they're just there to, like, rip you off and stuff like that. So, literally, the only time I did get ripped off was a gangster. Literally, he made sure, literally... It was the month before my birthday. He's like, that nigga stole my PlayStation. But it was really fucking different. Like, I could literally fucking imitate the way he fucking talks. Like, nigga, he was trying to give your brother game and shit like that. That shit was right next to his fucking birthday. You don't understand the shit on that level. Motherfucker, that shit is way complex. You think we're fucking apes and fucking monkeys and shit? That is literally the reality of the situation. But I learned the language of how he 
literally former late assassins back in the day and I can tell you I will never rely on the way of talking like that because that way of talking is really 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 not good it brings a lot of bad habits and like you don't want to get you know stuck in that and you know the thing I understood about my brother is that like literally he literally was so fucking irreplaceable he definitely has his own fucking style Lily. he was obsessed with basketball you know this night he was also obsessed with Michael Jackson so my brother is mainstream to a fucking fluid if you act like no life those are like two crazy ass characters so like you know that is full to multi-dimensionality versus me I had a one track man I was always straight to a point like Lily. I was really working hard I've been making comic books since I've been literally like in fourth grade and shit like and I kept on making comic books and making co comic books he literally well he was making all the friends but he suffered from making all those friends and I realized how he suffered from making all those friends because I understand what their principle is they get really 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 stuck with multidimensionality without like the main fucking purpose and I'm talking about his generation my other brother's generation literally fucked up the exact same fucking way like literally they think they're on that political shit but they're not on that personal shit and that's literally where they get shit fucked up like literally they make the government business their fucking business and that's literally the problem with every fucking body that literally has the ego their fucking A's like literally they get everything involved in everything and that's why they don't know how to keep things separate my brother literally applies this fucking ghetto strategy like he doesn't understand there's a thing of, like a subconscious he doesn't understand what a subconscious is he knows, like, the book version of the subconscious of Lily. You test him. Oh, I know what subconscious is. He's got to give you a book worm definition. This is the definition that you, Lily, have to say to this nigga. Like, you have to be like this. You have to be like, yo. He doesn't know anything about that second nature shit that Lily comes when you, Lily, you know, accept to Lily flow with things instead of, like, having, you know, a criticism mind all the time. He would always be the first to criticize every fucking thing. And he literally, but that's his hatred for fucking society. That's somebody who lives society but doesn't live life. Like, literally, that is somebody who literally will have a lot of fucking connections and shit, but he fails to realize where this is all fucking going because of, like, the root of the fucking shit. And, you know, and that's literally fucking crazy. But my brother is fucking fun. I'm trying, like, literally, try to tell you guys my brother is really, really fucking fun, but there was a big thing that really fucking happened. So, my brother is, like, hella fucking funny. He's known for literally making up loudest fucking jokes that literally being out there, out there, like, literally, when it comes to creativity, and he is definitely an anime OG. He watches all fucking anime, new anime, but, you know, he mostly watches shit like Hajimo Ipo, but he also told me that there was another box of anime called Ishido Joe. So, my brother is an anime extraordinaire, so you can't, you know, disrespect my brother like that, like that, but, you know, you have to understand it came down to a real foul part in my life where he was doing some eye pocket shit, so I had to literally just be like, yo, I can't be like that, man, so, in all honesty, like, I'm trying to tell you, like, fucking, um, he has the craziest view on fucking anime, but he doesn't go all out in it like me, it's like, it literally, so literally, but that's the weight that he doesn't understand that that holds, you have to understand that literally, he doesn't understand it going all out, like, all that fucks reinforces you until, but when you're like me, and you literally put all your bags in one basket for a good fucking reason. And the real fucking thing is this. is like literally he used to punk me one time. I was literally making my comic book. And he's all like you have to be aware of the situation around you. And literally stop focusing on this fucking book alone. Hey literally when you hear shit like that. That means you're on to something. So literally that shit was so fucking funny. My brother has a great way of fucking talking. Literally this is one time where I was watching Family Guy. Hey literally. He was literally watching that episode where Peter was trying to fake death. And literally, he literally drew on the fucking line. He's like, no thanks, I'm dead. And my brother pops out of nowhere laughing and shit. He's like, that nigga's a fucking idiot. That is so fucking funny. Same thing I like in Blackstar. Same thing I like in this and that. So fucking funny. The way he views life is hella fucking funny. <laughs> fucking stupid. He had his own fucking style, and that's the thing I liked about him. He, even though the fucking table and Babylon had the own style, he always popped out with a unique smile. Like, there was this one time where I'm like, Do you know that Tony had a girlfriend? He's like, Yeah, I was there. Literally, hell, fucking funny. <laughs> Every fucking time I first spoke, that shit was funny. But, you know, he started to get on that gay shit. He started to be like, I hope she read Jesus. It's like, No, don't do that. Well, my brother really is an OG that watches anime, but he comes from the Nas era. You know, Nas is a defiant era because of a very bad reason because they think like they know everything my fucking my other brother fucking demo and shit uh fucking literally 
So the real reason why he doesn't care if I'm so fucking famous and shit is because my brother grew up around the famous era. He literally he thinks that they're all fucking monkeys and shit. When you talk to them, they're really nice people. They can tell by his bylaggers that he doesn't treat people the way he wants to be treated. And, like, that is what literally doesn't make people trust him the most. It's not really that. It's that literally it's like, I can temporarily fuck with you, but he doesn't understand that. And the reason why is because he has to understand, like, people are like pussy. You know what I'm saying? Like, pussy is very good if you be good to it. And I'm not trying to say that in, like, a hood nigga fashion. I'm saying, that, like, in the actual, like, professional way. Because, um, a professional way, because I don't really like talking hood. So, the real fucking crazy thing about this is, like, you know, Pussy is something you have to impress. Pussy is something that you literally, you have to keep beating. Pussy is something that you literally have to, like, literally do not, you know, like, underestimate the power of. But underestimate that pussy can be either a portal or a trap. That's what the fuck pussy is. And he doesn't understand that. He's still thinking on, like, a childish level. But it's not childish because if he has the same tools as other people, I bet he can go far. But, you know, there's the other Vegeta aspect to him where literally there's... You know, I'm not going to go into that, but this is trying to be funny, 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 funny. So, literally, but that, the reason why he's so obsessed with that is what happened is over time, he went from the guy that was literally watching old fucking school anime, watching Air Master, watching old, cold-ass fucking animes, where I was literally the little brother. This nigga used to make fun of me for watching the Powerpuff Girl Z. And, literally, he's all like, so... How you liking your girls? Literally so fucking funny. That's how I used to talk, Lily. Every fucking time he used to speak, he used to fairly like sentences like that. Lily, so fucking funny. Oh, fucking that silhouette in fucking Smash Brothers. He kept playing with the fucking stupid, all that fucking character. But that was at expense. That was too much uniqueness. And I'm like, you know, you have to be aware that once you put yourself out there, you know, you are going to get captured. He's like, nigga, you got a good idea. I get a lot of ideas from you. You don't even know that. <laughs> like, like, you don't understand. Like, that's why a lot of people, you know. But, you know, I'm not going to go get into that. But the fucking the crazy thing is, is he is up to a standard, but I surpassed his standard already. And the real reason why I'm cooler with the rappers that, like, Lily didn't give him too much of a chance is that I didn't really ask him too much, you know. So, Lily, I literally, I'm just saying, like, yo, you know, check this out and, I didn't have to ask, and they kept on reposting my content. So rappers would repost my content on Instagram, and so my brothers are like, oh, that's not nothing. You have Easter eggs. So my brother criticizes me for having Easter eggs and not really, 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 really being in the office like that. So that is how he always thinks he can get me because he thinks that word of the mouth is a deficiency. Word of the mouth is a fucking superpower. Word of the mouth is literally so fucking damaging, it's not even fucking funny. You do not want to be a mob boss, so I'm not going to, like, literally... Like, uh, tell you not to literally have word of the mouth because word of the mouth comes when you're a parent. Word of the mouth comes from, like, literally every fucking thing. Word of the mouth is the fucking, like, shit, but you can't do it for fucking ever. But that's the whole point of word of the mouth. Word of the mouth is literally a name you build for yourself before you become famous. That is literally this and that. So, literally, so my brother Damo's real name is Dominique and Lily. So, but. We call him Damo. So, Damo Lily is a toy that you can buy in a fucking store. Damo is a pussy. And they did name that shit after my brother. So, he's like, oh, your Easter eggs ain't shit. Damo been had that. I'm like, um, excuse me? That nigga had a fucking doll. <laughs> Motherfucker, I'm the reason why we have Hakadin. So, that is the deficiency is he doesn't understand the weight of that. And that's just some little shit because after that, he has to realize that there's a whole world out there more than what he thinks it is in Lily. So, my brother's at the street level where he can dodge bullets and, like, have hand-to-hand -hand combat. My brother is at that level. But after that, you have to learn that that is miniature compared to some of the other shit that you got to experience. It's not really about shooting about the gangster. When you're being targeted by a gang, it's not really the fucking physical pain that they try to trap you with. They try to trap you with their fucking mental pain. That is literally what happens when you deal with the game because they understand more than anybody that, like, winning is the option, but they operate like, yo, we're going to pretend not to fucking win and we're going to fucking keep on, like, literally getting his mental. He may be able to surpass us every fucking time, but that's what we want. We want him to keep fighting back. We want him to tire out. But the tie 
the thing about like you and life is you and life can never fucking tie out. And that is the real reason fucking why you don't fucking give up on fucking life in general. But you do give up when you realize that like there's no fucking way out of a fuck situation. And I'm gonna put it like this same way. Like, um, my brother didn't know what he wants to do. And Lily, so Lily, that was the craziest thing. Like, I used to talk to my brother because I have more drop to you. I'm going to be better than you. I'm sorry. But my brother, you know, thinks that Lily, that, like, I just be fucking up, that I became one of those trifling guys in line, that I literally, that I became one of the workers, I mean, one of the rappers that I've been working for. And you know what's the wrong reason, like, that? No. If you understand how they operate, they operate way more on a professional level than me. Like, I am still, like, is an entrepreneur. Every single fucking rapper that I work for was literally a somewhat entrepreneur, and that's what he has to understand, that that is literally what fucking bread and shit like that and I do this shit not asking for anything in return and you're still wondering like yo well, where the fuck my money at I, I fucking record your video this now I might even make a real video so you have to make that fucking comparison that I'm still getting for you have to look at it at that angle and you have to understand like he thinks that are fucking like banana eating you know son of a goons but you know that is not fucking funny you know what I'm trying to say but he is hella fucking funny every time I listen to Japanese music you know the second opening from Naruto you know all like he always would have these nigga ad libs. He's like, in the ghetto? Lily, he is so fucking stupid. He literally, he says this shit like, you ain't ready for Sakuraki Hadaichi. Lily, I love fucking stupid. And Lily, there was this one time where he got so fucking annoying that he would say, yeah, Jerobi. Every fucking time Cool Bar came on the scene of Yu Yu Hakusho, show, I would try to watch Yu Yu Hakusho. show. He would always fucking spam this shit, Lily, every time. You're a messy. And like, motherfucking. My brother would be like, yeah, Jerobi. I'm like, can you stop fucking saying that, Lily? We're gonna pay for this, you're a messy. He's all like, yeah, Jerobi. <laughs> Even when this nigga's mouth shut, when he's about to open his mouth, this nigga cool Bauer, he's like, yeah, Jerobi. Yeah, I'm like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> I'm trying to watch this fucking show. He would not stop fucking saying, yeah, Jerobi, and Kuro Bauer came on the scene. It was so fucking stupid. It's like, that's how my brother fucking talks. And then we have this another fucking One Piece opening. You know, the Hard Knock Days, like, Lily. My favorite damn near opening for One Piece, like, Lily. It's one of my favorites, but it's like, this night days, nigga, night day. And literally, my brother's like, nigga, night day. Literally, so fucking stupid. My brother actually cosplayed as IOKJ. He didn't cosplay because this nigga showed up with a beer shirt. That nigga was so fucking stupid. He showed up with a beer shirt, warrior shirt that he already fucking had. And literally, it did. He literally, he bought the IOKJ glasses and he called it a fucking cosplay. I thought, I'm like, nah. And so, literally, and the real fucking crazy thing is, I was trying to get him to cosplay as the Admiral. I and I was gonna be keys that were for control, but he never fucking got his fucking costume. He had no drive, and that pisses me off to this day. You're wondering why I don't fucking like you. Damn, man. My brother was on that fucking anime shit. My brother always distant fucking that. Lily had the funniest fucking things, but like, he was literally all fun and no responsibility. He thought it was responsibility, but every time we had responsibility, like, we had fun, so, I, I can't really blame that, you know, Slam Dunk is fucking funny, he had this one-liner in this one video I made, like, literally, he, I was trying to watch the fucking Naruto, and literally, he's fucking hogging fucking with Slam Dunk and shit, and he's literally, like, you know how fucking that Frieza fight was, and he literally came up, I'm like, can I fucking watch it now, he's like, no, he's like, you know how the Dragon Ball Z episodes be like when this should be hella dragged on, that's how they fucking do it in the middle of the show. <laughs> 10 seconds to reach the fucking basket. <laughs> I fucking, I was dying because I was fucking being stupid at the time. But that shit is hella funny. Like, if you run one Dragon Ball Z episodes because they're trying to fucking get the ball in the fucking basket. I literally have done and shit. Ishido Joe, literally, he, he is so fucking funny. Like, no, we have a language, so we're always watch fucking Dragon Ball Super or One Piece, you know, like we would always watch that every, every fucking week. But my brother really, really, really be on that dumb shit, man. So, like, I'm trying to tell you, he's a little fucking stupid. He always listened to Dim Hood Stars video fiction. I was very fucking, fucking crazy about that song. If you really think that that's not a nice song, I, I'm gonna get AMG for that later on. I just want to fucking be your fiction. And I literally, I was listening to that shit, and that shit goes hella fucking hard. Back when I was in junior high, like, literally, I see the devil in my fucking head, the devil in my fucking head. 
And literally, what the fuck, he was all like, he's all like, man, you need to listen to him because he's listening to real fucking rap. But the devil telling me to listen to real rap is really fucking evil, so what the fuck are you trying to say? Like, literally, that's no fucking righteousness in that, and that shit is hella fucking funny. And when I really, when I really start listening to hood rap, like, literally, I'll listen to songs out ten times more with the street code with them. This is all I can fuck. I'm employed. I'm like, no, 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 that's not pimping at all. I'm like, literally, because I understand that shit, literally, like, that power rig is like an ace, and that's them trying too hard, because I understand how the fuck they make those flows. I understand that they're heavily fucking up where it comes, like, to those heavy, 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 like, meaning. Like, that was a club song, but that was a horrible club song. Like, literally, I... Did not like V.O.'s Vixen's lyrics once I actually understood rap. I listened to nothing but hood rap on top of hood rap. Well, literally, well, let's talk about shit that I experience every fucking day. Now, that is a hood nigga. Nigga who's lived through fucking other rappers' fucking music, and then you get lost in who the fuck, like, you are, literally, shit like that. Like, and I'm trying to fucking let these niggas know that when you listen to fucking hood rap like fucking me, I thought that shit was fucking desperate. I'm like, nigga, you shouldn't be fucking for a fucking check. Like, nigga, you should literally have it, so many people fucking support you. Like, you don't need to be fucking like that. And like, look, in conclusion, I'm going to give you the power scaling about where he was at and why I was so inspired by him, but why he went from North Place to Sanji Drills. So let me get into fucking Sanji Drills. Sanji Drills is an alternate fucking idea. I'm like, you're getting fucking lost in the shit that I have. I had a Sanji obsession in literally fucking middle school. He's all like, nigga, I showed you One Piece. Shut up. Like, literally, you think that that outweighs the shit I have done with One Piece? And that is literally, 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 that beat for video eviction was so fucking fire, but I feel like that shit was so fucking cold. Like, it was definitely our original song. You can't deliver it like them hit stars, but you're like, you understand how watered down they are. Like, there are so many other fucking Bay Area rappers that blow them out the fucking water. I feel like they are so fodder. Fucking Kefani is better than both of them, in my honest opinion. But I'm not trying to, like, you know, literally <laughs> get into those stupid shit like that. Like, I'm not trying to bother no one. No, no, fuck that. And Sanji is literally, he started watching One Piece, and he literally, he started, like, literally, this is how he fucking thinks, so, if you want guys to know, like, his thought process is like, nigga, my favorite character is Sanji, my rap name gonna be Sanji Drills, all this nigga do is smoke pots and fuck women, no, literally, that's literally how he fucking thought that shit was so fucking funny, and we called him Sanji Drills ever since, but he became so gay when he became Sanji Drills, so, if you want to think that's right, off plays to fucking, like, Sanji Thrills was basically my Riz Anakin and Lou Tricks. I'm, I'll make a video later on about how my rap name used to be Riz Anakin and then it went to Mood Tricks. But, like, literally, it used to be Riz, Riz, Riz. Why do you think everybody called me Riz? Because I used to be Riz Anakin. And I got Riz Anakin from watching Girl and Leg at with my brother. So, like, you'll always be my Anakin. You'll always be like this and that. But I'm not emotional like that anymore. That hits really fucking hard with, like, you're an anime fan. But I'm literally, I'm like, bro, I do not fall for that dream. If you cry over this shit right now, I fucking swear. Like, I'm, that shit isn't real, man. The way he was on Sanji Drills, what happened is he ended up making a fucking, like, literally, above fucking a group. Like, he made his own company. I'm like, nigga, I was trying to make my own company. So he gets he gets with some niggas and makes his own fucking company. And literally, his company fucking drops. Before this, his little his name for the fucking company was Sanji fucking Drills. I'm like, you make this anime shit. You put your uh, anime name with a whole bunch of other fucking... Rec uh, you know what? Never mind. That, that, that shit was so fucking funny. He called himself fucking Sanji Drills. And his favorite character in Naruto was Choji. So my brother is hella fucking funny. And fucking stupid, man. Like, literally... Literally, we're playing once justice. I'm like, nigga, you need to use other characters. He's like, don't make me either you. This nigga used to use burner, and if you know motherfucking Guamban, my brother used to always use fucking burner. And he literally he's like, oh hold up, you were never thought to use burner. <laughs> and literally everything he did with Sanji Thrills, literally, he would be able to connect with somebody every time, but it would fall every time, but every single time they became his beer buddies. And literally, I'm like, come on, man, cause like you gotta get like that shit was too fucking funny. And literally, so, <laughs> he is so goofy. He needs to let go of that goofiness. That shit, it, it really is getting out of hand, man. That goofiness, you're like, you're, like you're, you're, you're unbalanced, man. Like, that is too funny. You can't be that funny because that's literally lost your own little world funny. You, you, you need to be situation funny, bro. And so, literally, literally what happened is he got at a level that I surpassed because... Every single thing, what I learned about my brother is Lily. So you're up against somebody who's lazy, who comes from a generation that is obviously more tactical than yours, but it's tactical for the wrong reason. 
Like, you think on multiple levels where everybody in my generation thinks straightforward, and I feel like that's where, like, literally, he gets his ego complex from, but at the same time. Now, let me tell you, like, he is on that level of rap, so he was a standard, so I don't feel like this. So I told him, do you want to make a track for the very first time? So I basically tried to tell him, so he already thinks that the media ain't shit, and that's where he falls. So this is what's crazy. But this is a crazy-ass fucking debate, because what happened is this. So, like, literally, I wasn't even trying to write a verse for him. And literally, I was literally, he decided to do something when I wasn't being serious. So what happened was this. So I understood a rap was at the time. I was cool to hit current top. So I'm like, you know what, I'm going to just actually speak this. It was a cool-ass Drake beat. So me and him were about to kill it. It's so all like, all about our dog boy. No, no, literally crazy. I'm crazy. I'm like, <laughs> all about my pancake. Competition, I destroy. Put everything aspic. Fried chicken, red lobster. When it comes to Ryan, got am a fucking monster. The girls got the munchies and they want these nuts. Got them. All these other rappers, uh, there's rappers and gospels, ladies. Get by the I see nigga starting up on them. I'm a Mac with an apple, cause she's the I wore these to try regulate with the debate. The other nigga did warrant G. She had a fair sense of credency. It's because my luckily words he makes you my majesty. I'll be ballin', you can see me on the court. I'm a real nigga, make a nigga six feet, act too short, I can visit my sport. Spin a fire like a dragon. I'm an assassin, get into my duty, I'm a pirate, I'm a captain. Cause we spoke in 20 for seven, we open. And so Lily, he took this shit and Lily, so that's not what I'm actually fucking trying. My goal was to show you that I'm making like a Tyler the Creator flow. Like Lily, just to make you think of some stupid shit. Like Lily, I was just fucking around with him because he likes lower scars and shit. So I was trying to tell him I wasn't trying. And this nigga took this shit too seriously. And I'm all like, he's like, okay, so you show me that you can actually make a mainstream verse. So like Lily, so that is Lily the level he's on. So he came like this. That every journey the invention. Then we into one even the pastor and teacher. Then we into one even the student and the teacher. Then we into one even the main rubber on the feature. <laughs> I start crying. That shit was funny. I'm like, okay, you wait till I wrote my verse to say that shit. You fucking ass. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, like you really, 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 really thought that I was actually gonna go serious on you. So I beat like Lily, my other brother in a rap battle later on. I showed him that I really am too fucking far from that level. Like he. The guy that I knew would literally destroy Knopf Blaze. What happened, man? So his identity, Saji Thrills, is hella fucking gay. Saji Thrills is literally a funny it's thrill, but it's fucking, it shows how fucking lame he is. Like, this is the great Sandman lame. Like, literally, he used to be such a fucking raw ass savage, and now literally, the fucking world made him hella fucking gay. Like, literally. Because the way he views Sanji Thrills, even though he was successful with a company, it, he always felt some lawyer squad shit. He is lawyer squad in real fucking life. That's how him and his friends act like that. He literally, all his friends have these stupid ass code names. Joe Gainers. <laughs> you should be sniffing them titties too much, Matty Mo. Literally, he's hella fucking stupid. He's hella fucking he's stupid as fuck. Literally, that shit is Crazy. He literally has these fucking stupidest lawyer squad. He's fucking around like a little kid all the fucking time. He's fucking stupid. And now that you understand that I can beat that verse with ease is the reason why he needs to stop saying shit like that. Like, that shit is way out of fucking date. That shit will be fucking funny, but look at the way he's fucking delivering it. No fucking passion. He's fucking around again. I'm fucking done with that, you know? I can't really think on that level of shit. He fucks around too much. Do not, do not think I was trying to attempt to be black and literally every, this whole fucking video. I'm not trying to be fucking, like, fucking ghetto when I talk like this, man. Like, I, 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 I literally cannot do that, man. Like, and all that fucking charisma, you fucking, where's it going, man? And the same reason why he thinks this multidimensionality with him being obsessed with politics and fucking basketball and shit is gonna outweigh the fucking, the shit that goes on, like, you know, uh, in real fucking life, you know, that fuck, that shit's just for fucking news, that shit's not, like, real life, you know, it, it, literally, that's fucking TV versus real life, that's literally the big ass fucking difference, that's a big ass the fucking exaggeration, so, like, when you come at people with definitions, like, the stereotypes and shit, of uh, literally, like, you have to understand, like, some of the most greatest people in the world are, like, literally 33 with no fucking car, and, like, literally are not employed, because the world is fucking dangerous out there, if fucking people trying to rip people off and shit like that, like, there's a big fucking reason that's, like, outside the realm of thinking, and he has this toxic masculinity mindset, literally, that you just have to go through it, it's because you think you just have to go through it, it's because why you accept bullshit, he accepts bullshit, 
instead of really fighting it. You have to fight bullshit in life. You have to fight, fight, fight bullshit no matter what it is, no matter like if, you know, you're in like a particular situation, you have to understand you have to fight bullshit. You can't let bullshit slide. You can let certain bullshit slide, but if people are literally spinning in your fucking face 24-7, it's fucking crazy. He thinks literally that when people say, hey, how's that muzzle, Lily? I fucking work. He's like, <coughs> Lily, he just walks off. And Lily, he thinks it's just a fucking joke. He thinks he's just like making a joke out of nowhere. Like, I'm just fucking with you. No, he's not fucking with you. And that's literally how I realize things and how he realized things. He thinks everything is fucking friendly. I'm like, dude, like, no, 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 no. The way you present yourself is fucking crazy as fuck. And so he's at that level where he thinks that do you want to be a structure teacher? Is no, 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 no. I'm freestyling, belling that. And I've already surpassed that. And he needs to take that to a lot of recognition. No, it was fucking funny, but you have to understand, he was way better, he was not. So the way I view Sergeant Drills is the same way. I had this literally this daydream about the group poem. I'm like, you know what? I feel a whole like when I was in fucking high school. I kind of felt like I was a special ed at the group poem, but instead of being a special ed, I was popular. That's literally was fucking weird. I, I was so fucking popular. I'm pulling all these girls, but I still feel like I was special that because of so much things I'm missing, like the fucking car and shit like that. And my fucking everybody else my age, like fucking graduated college and shit. So I always feel like I was kind of like special ed was well, at the group home because literally there's nobody fucking structure. I had no fucking job and shit. But at the same time, like everything I did was on a consistent pace and it was very, very fucking like, you know, every hour week to week basis. And when you do shit week to week basis, that means you're not fucking around. And he fails to fucking realize that. He thinks that Easter eggs are fucking paid to me because I'm not getting paid. Do you know how many rappers suffer from getting paid? Because they have to pay for their own fucking equipment after they pay for their outfit and shit like that. They barely have any fucking money for fucking McDonald's after a fucking video. I'm like, Lily, if you actually understand how this shit works, they are doing a whole lot of work. They're putting in a whole lot of work for me, and you literally are trying to make the excuses that I'm not getting paid. I'm getting something that's better than fucking money. I'm getting love. I'm getting literally appreciation after appreciation where people will put long hours and fucking blood, sand, tears over me, and you want to think that money is going to outweigh that. No, that is never going to try to outweigh that, and that's when my brother has the game fucked up. He believes in literally, like, courtesy over curiosity and literally he thinks that he does, it's not disrespectful being a smart aleck is being disrespectful any fucking way because you're not being considered the other person's feelings it doesn't matter how fucking hood you are if you're fucking with somebody if you're doing fucking bad yourself and you try to criticize somebody else it's really bad in general that means you're unaware of who the fuck you are you're weighing over your head you keep on trying to bash girls for literally thinking that they're this and that when you understand that you can get the majority of your connections through girls because girls have a higher advantage in society. He thinks that they still have cooties and shit. Oh, oh, what the fuck? I can't talk to them. I, like, what the fuck's the point? And like, Lily, this and that. They're dumb as fuck. I'm like, Lily, no. You don't understand that women and children are heavily connected and that you have to lead women like how you have to lead children. And they think that their child is no. You don't understand. That's how they're raised. They're raised not to worry about that stuff. You think like you're hella fucking mature when you're failing to fucking realize that everything that you're doing is going towards her fucking guard. You're literally, you're attacking her fucking guard when you think like that, dumbass. A honey badger can't negotiate, and he gives the biggest things for all time. You got Lily. You got to put that ladder right there. You got to put it together yourself. You got to be like a hun, hun, you know, you know, a honey badger get what you want in life. I'm like, no. There's a reason why it's a fucking animal. Now I'm talking like him, done right, and it's fucking pissing me off because I remember I sound exactly like him when he used to watch shit. So if you guys want to know, I'm going to make a little bit more of a video like of how it feels like to watch a video with my brother back in eighth grade, but he wasn't anything, you know, he wasn't a gangster, he wasn't this and that. I had something like of what he is. He's a big ass former show for him in junior high. So his alternate idea of these subject drills was so fucking gay because that's when I was going through the most in high school. That's when you do at least for me. When life got really fucking tough, none of his fucking most of those speeches work. And literally, I made it out better doing my own thing, networking with my own people. So, you know, like, it literally really, 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 really fucking sucks that he doesn't view it that way. But, like, everybody knows it's fucking true. Like, let's be honest. So, any fucking way, fucking, um, I used to have this daydream after group home. Just like fucking Scientific Drills, I made this alternate identity called Gower and shit like that. Like, Gower something. And so, literally, I had the gayest fucking idea why well, I think where fucking Revelation is, where it's really just fucking the same thing and me feeling sorry for myself. It's the exact same way he made Sanji thrills, but he doesn't even realize it because that's where subconscious is. They are subconsciously asking you. Asking is when you insult somebody. 
and asking is a form of speak by Arturo. And Lily, he's asking himself every time he talks because he's talking about shit that they have a spider web of information upon. And you have to understand, like, every time he blurts something out, he thinks he's being fucking gangster, but if you blurt something out, like, literally fucking picks and picks, oh, we know that least that, oh, we know that least that, that spider web shit is real. That's how fucking gangsters think, like, literally fucking, um, when you pull something out, they don't just think fruit. They think about his whole fucking backstory. A fucking nigga understanding your fucking backstory as soon as you fucking speak. That's not good. Like, hey, he thinks it's funny when we're talking about his muscle. <laughs> that's not super disrespectful. And literally, the way I deliver it is literally may sound weak, but it's the exact same format. So I was like this. So, ha, ha, ha I'm waking up and my guard thing is going strong. And literally, there's nothing fucking changing. Uh, I just killed three people with Gaara. I'm the best ultimate in the storm. I just got done making the A and V, and I'm going back to Gara. My Gara thing is going really well. And so literally, the him and fucking Junior High, we be like, nigga, since when the fuck do you like Gara? You're playing against the Kaze Kage Gara, and not the actual Gara. <laughs> You're not just being to the point where that nigga's a savage, man. Like literally, he literally that's how the fuck he he talks. But like today, he literally like, bro, I had enough. He's fucking dumb because literally, he fucking like literally has too many fucking like internal fucking problems that he hasn't fucking figured out yet. And literally. I try to literally fucking say that that shit is so fucking dumb. And literally, I'll say that literally. You gotta get shot one day. He's like, oh, nigga, I'm cool with everybody. I'm like, oh, really? Somebody who literally makes fun of somebody else is never cool with anybody. I'm trying to tell you not to be goofy. Watch, when you gotta start going to school, you gotta start seeing everything I fucking say come to life. When you see people playing sports, or you see everybody enjoying your time, and that you're fucking living downhill, and that you're going down the wrong fucking path. I'm the one who knows what I want to do in my life. Hold up. That's gonna take me to better people either fucking way. You're so up fucking sets with people, you don't know what the fuck they lead to. And literally, fucking, back then I'm all like, and then there was this rapper named Keith the Sneak who literally made a whole CD that I thought while I was in junior high. He, like, literally, his mind says, like, I'm not gonna let you network with those fucking monkeys. Literally, he understood where a fucking Easter egg was. They made an Easter egg album for me in junior high, literally. Like, fucking, it was called Defiant because they kept on defying that BGO. They kept on defying that I literally, I was, I should be accepted by now. I've done enough social appraisal things to get something here that's really being biased. That's not cool. You do some little intellectual stuff and, like, you literally, you look to the side of each other and you're all like, oh, hell no. Nah. So, literally, like, Keep the Sneak made this whole fucking CD. Literally, fucking crazy shit. So, literally, I learned a whole lot about fucking life through this fucking thing and, like, where he fails to realize is that, like, I can never be the same fucking person. I am not the same person I was when I was in junior fucking high. He's not the same fucking North Blaze in junior high who literally, who acted just like fucking Kamina. He, I used to call him an Anki. He's not my fucking Anki anymore. He's boring as fucking shit. He's fucking, literally, he's watching anime to fucking survive now. And back then, he was so multidimensional. I'm like, bruh, this shit is literally, I know anime is a cartoon by now, but you actually think this shit is, like, l literal when it comes to fucking... The way you fucking think that you know about what's real, like I pure pan you are because I know what I want to do and my head is straight and you are the one in Neverland because you haven't made it up yet. And that's literally the fucking difference between me and him. And he literally is thinking of all that. It's because I have more drive is why I go through more shit. Just fuck that, man. But he'll always, always, always attack me at that angle. I'm like, you're acting like a fucking square. And last time I rejected, squares don't really get pussy like that. I'm not a fucking gangster. I mean that a different way. I'm still a fucking square. But literally, you think that literally everybody's your fucking friend. Where literally, they so fucking, fucking nasty behind your back. The fucking position that they put you in versus the position that they put me in. You understand the power of acting like a fucking nigger, but actually being a brother on the inside. You are the nigger for entertainment, but you're a brother how you handle your business on the inside. So fuck that. He doesn't understand the power of that. He thinks everything in, in fucking hip-hop is fucking stupid. You are so fucking, like, out there. You don't understand that women and fucking children are connected because you don't actually take charge of the situation. You don't actually, you know, guide them. You don't let them know where this is going because you don't want to... You know what you really want to do yourself. He hasn't had his career mind up yet. If you fucking change identities like that, you're fucking up. Just think about it. I'm doing the same fucking thing. I'm playing the same fucking video game. And I'm making the same fucking AMVs. The only difference is I chose Gara as a fucking host. That's the, what the fuck you did when you were assigned to drills. And he doesn't think that's their crib. He thinks like Lily. Nigga, you don't fucking feel this. Nigga, you don't smoke pots. Like, nigga, you don't do this and that. You have to understand. But anyway, so this is the Easter egg for my brother. And he is... Uh, kind of inspired by Jit Murioto. Jit Murioto is Kabaya's older brother in the comic book. And my brother literally, like,
like, there was a thing around my brother. He went to night school and he was fucking up. So my mom and everybody in the family trusted me to literally to graduate fucking high school because he kept on giving me speeches while he was getting the criminal activity. That's never a fucking good fucking inference. But he's trying to act fucking admiral shit where he's doing it. Like, you know you're fucking up. Basically, his formula is this. I'm gonna do it wrong, but I'm gonna be smart about doing it wrong. It's your dumb ass that's gonna get caught. I'm like, yeah, it's because I don't do it at all. It's why I'm gonna succeed. When you're doing it wrong, you're doing it wrong. There's no way out of karma. There's no fucking way out of karma. So if you know you're doing it wrong, no matter how way you try to deliver it, you're still fucking wrong. You think you're smart where you're only delaying a fucking problem. You're only delaying a fucking problem when you try to get out of a problem smart. So Jip and Goodbye is basically, he ran away from the Moody Ultra family when he was young because they chose Goodbye over him to be a chosen one. So they all, like, recommended me and they all counted on me to get great to get good grades in school so, like, I can surpass my brother. He's like, we have faith in you and stuff like that. No, that's not fucking real. That's a little white line to sugarcoat. That is their goal, but they understand that I'm at big fucking risk at that. Putting all that pressure on one person without giving him nothing in return isn't a way to fucking motivate someone. It's never a way. But anyway, that's my brother's character, so you understand why he's confused. You understand why, you know, I don't really fucking care, you know. So this is just another video from my brother. If you want to understand, like, a little bit more of his character, instead of him being a deuce, like, how funny he is and shit like that. But yeah, yeah, that's it.